for years now, it's been known that Microsoft's standard Windows installs are not the best for gaming performance, which has caused a lot of people to either create their own custom Windows install or download one off the internet in hopes of getting higher gaming performance. There are a lot of options, but which one is the best? Hey guys, what's going on? Chamber here, and today we're going to be talking about what is the greatest Windows install for gaming. I know there's so many of them. In the past five plus years that I've been into Windows optimizations, custom Windows installs, I've probably seen hundreds come and go. Some of them might not be secure, some of them might not be safe, some of them might be a little bit sketchy. We can be honest here. Even I've had my own custom gaming install that I've had actually promoted before, but I'm no longer supporting. Just because there's plenty of people who do it better than me. And we're going to be focusing on two main gaming OSs today. Revy OS, which is now in the form of Revy Playbook, and Ghost Spectre. These two are the ones that I deem as kind of the best gaming installs overall. The ones that I recommend overall. So we're going to be talking about ease of use, so installation, gaming performance most importantly, and then which one I really recommend. To start off, Revy Playbook now is updated, so basically what you do is you can use your standard Windows install that you have already now, or fresh install a normal Windows 11, Windows 10 install, and then all you have to do is you just download their playbook and download the AME configurator, I believe it's called. You just drag that playbook in, hit next, your PC will restart, everything is done for you every tweak you need go Spectre is similarly similarly easy but all you have to do is just install it like a normal Windows install you did get a couple options such as if you want a more compact OS so you can save storage if you want defender or not I choose typically not to have defender but we're gonna talk about that in a little bit and also you have one if you just want to remove the start menu that's in Windows 10 or Windows 11 depending on which version you use and replace it with a newer one or like an alternate one looking at security Revy playbook does keep Windows Defender enabled which is a big deal that is kind of something we'll see in a little bit in these results but obviously go Spectre, you can choose to have it on or off I choose to have it off but I'm not keeping like crypto or anything super important on this PC. I keep everything on a laptop that has TPM, secure boot. Everything that I really need that's important is on there. The I know people who have lost thousands of dollars in crypto because they didn't have Windows Defender on. Always leave Windows Defender on if you have important information. I'll say that for a normie, the ease of use is definitely going to win towards Revy Playbook. Ghost Spectre is just as easy. You have your Ghost Toolbox gives you a bunch of different options depending on if you want to install stuff or modify a couple more things depending on it. One thing that is annoying though, Go Spectre, you have to disable Mouse Excel when you install it. Mouse acceleration is the worst thing of all time. But now let's take a look at gaming performance. One thing I also tested was I actually applied the Revy Playbook to Go Spectre to see how that performs, just to see kind of what, so that's what that combo is now in the benchmark. All of this will be done with my maxed out 1300K rig, 5.7 on the P cores, 4.4 on the E cores, 4.9 on the ring, 7800CL36 8i memory, and a three gigahertz plus 1000 memory 4090. Everything is tuned to the max to get you the highest FPS possible. If you enjoy this content though, hit that like button down below, subscribe, become a supporter so you can get this information soon. I did these benchmarks like two months ago, maybe th four. So my supporters have known this for a while, but the YouTube content and the viewers are just now seeing it. But let's get it now into it. Starting out here with a Rift Benchmark, we have Revy OS just kind of sucking. I can't really explain why. Ghost Spectre never had this issue. Revy had this issue. I'm just going to say like that doesn't matter. But one thing we can see for here, though, is that actually putting the combo does boost the lows a good bit on Ghost Spectre. The average FPS might be a little bit lower, but the 1% lows, which are more important, are better. But no one actually plays Rift Breaker, so let's see a real game. Now we're looking at Cyberpunk 2077. This was at 1440p max Ultra RTX, whatever the highest settings are, no DLSS or anything, real 1440p. And the max FPS is about the same, so is the average. One thing though, the combo is very good on the minimum FPS. Revy does pretty good too, so does Ghost Spectre. Like at this low FPS, okay, yes. Well, you really know the difference between 36 and 38. Maybe, but you do want to have these as high as possible, especially in a multiplayer game. But honestly, for something like this, this is when DLSS will come in handy. Rainbow Six Siege, a game that has seen a lot of resurgence 
Average FPS is basically the same. They're all in the low 800s. The min FPS is one by Ghost Spectre, and so is the max. So this is at 1440p low, so very, very CPU bound. Good job, Ghost Spectre. You did really, really good. I think Ghost Spectre is just really good at its CPU performance. I think that Revy OS kind of has that GPU performance benefit, but both are very, very good. It's also it's 800 FPS in Rainbow Six Siege. Oh, no. Last benchmark here is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Looking at the average FPS, Ghost Spectre is winning at 368. Revy s just dies with losing over 20 FPS in the averages you're losing significant amount in the lows as well i think the biggest thing honestly in my opinion is just showing that the combo loses the lows too which shows that revy os is not that good in call of duty even when you apply the playbook so sometimes i think the combo is a good idea but for most people i wouldn't touch it but which one do i recommend for you i work on a lot of gaming pcs and most people in my discord if i kind of like don't really know who they are no they're not very much of a, like a uh, kind of tweaker kind of person they just kind of want the highest fps possible with the least amount of work i'm going to recommend revy for them it's super easy can already be done to your windows install you don't have to reinstall anything but for someone who i know really likes to tweak and get the most out of their hardware ghost specter is the way i recommend ghost specter in my opinion just kind of performs well it's super lightweight it's super just easy to use in my opinion it's something i really like and i'm a fan of for example when i'm switching back to dual pcs hopefully very very soon i'm going to be using ghost spectre on my main gaming install no defender just highest fps then have my secondary pc my streaming my recording my editing pc be on a standard windows 11 maybe installing revy os on revy playbook on that just because i think that is kind of going to get me the best of both worlds let me know down below if you use a custom os if you are which one are you using? And if not, if you're going to install one now, which one are you going to install? But that's the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe. If this video got you more FPS. Tell me down below in the comment. If you want to support me, feel free down below using the link to join the Discord, as well as buying my PC optimization service so you can get FPS like you saw in this video. But I'll see you guys later. Peace.